Okay, first off, I'd like to say that uh, I am not the most fluent when it comes to QT programming. I mainly use GTK for my GUIs, and I'm uh, a lot more comfortable with GTK. Uh, but I'm trying to learn QT just to learn it and to share with you guys, and it is becoming more and more popular to use. Uh, that being said, I'm kind of learning as I'm going, and I just want to let you guys know that uh, basically, as I'm going through tutorials learning stuff, I'm learning from a website called zetcode.com. That's Z-E-T-C-O-D-E.com. Uh, if you want to go there, they have uh, tutorials, basically stuff I'm going through, but I'll probably go over uh, extra stuff as well as we go on with these tutorials. Now, in the last tutorial, I showed you how to create a very basic window uh, using Python and Qt. Today, we're going to do the same thing we're going to change the code up a little bit and we're going to start using classes and this will become more important if you're as you go on with your programming and make larger applications uh, using these classes to create objects so anyway I'm going to use vim as my text editor once again always just use the text editor you're comfortable with I'm going to use win.py I'm not going to use win.py that's the name of the script we're creating and we're going to start off this code this script just like we start off all our scripts with our shebang uh, which is basically just telling our operating system that this is a Python script. Use the Python environment to interpret it. So we have that up. The first thing we're going to do here, which is the main part of the code, we are going to import the sys module. And then from PYQT4, we're going to import QT GUI. And remember, this is all case sensitive. Next, we're going to start creating a class. And basically, this class is going to create uh, the window object, and then we're going to link that to an object later on. So we're just going to call this class, we'll call it form. Uh, and we'll say that this form is a QT GUI dot Q widget. And do remember, this is case sensitive once again. So we're creating that class, and now we're going to define a function for that class, and this function is going to be the initiate function. This is what's going to uh, basically start when you run this class. So it's underscore underscore n i, I'm sorry, i n i t underscore underscore, and then in parentheses self. So basically saying this class, uh, and we're going to say parent equals none because this. Uh, Basically, this window isn't going to have any parents. Next, we are going to just say that this is a qt dot GUI dot Q widget and dot underscore underscore n i n i t for initiate, and we're going to say self oh, inside parentheses and it should be self comma parent if I could spell correctly today there we go okay that's it for that class and basically we're creating this object creating this function and this function is going to create the widget in the last tutorial we basically just said we create an object called win and we set it equal to a QT uh, GUI widget this is basically doing the same thing, but we're using those three lines of code, which, as you'll see as tutorials go on, uh, makes it things more proper and easier to read, even though for this basic, basic window, it's actually adding some lines of code. So anyway, we're going to create an app, uh, object called app, and we're going to say qt GUI dot Q application. Sys dot argv. Uh, so argument variables there. So um, that's basically going to start our code, uh, start our our QT part of the code. Next, we're going to create a form object, and that form object is going to be. Let's see, I'm I'm spelling stuff wrong. I spelled it wrong up here. Glad I caught that. That would be confusing. Very important when you're programming to spell things properly. So basically we're saying this we're creating something called form, and that form is going to be what this class creates, which is a QT GUI widget window. 
So we've created it, now we just need to make it visible, just as we did in the last tutorial. So form.show, don't forget your parentheses there. And then last but not least, we need to start our main loop. We're gonna say sys exit, and then parentheses app.exe c underscore parentheses, and then close those parentheses. And basically that's saying loop this, display this application in until it's killed, which is when you hit the X in the upper right corner or left corner, depending on where you have it on your system, uh, to kill the window. We'll save that. Hopefully we typed everything right. We are going to change the mode, so change mod plus X for executable, and the inverse script. This is just making it executable, meaning you can run it. And we can say dot slash win dot py, so dot slash and name your script. Hit enter there. I typed something wrong. Qt is not, oh, I put a period there where I wasn't supposed to. Uh, where is that? Right here. Qt, capital GUI, no period there. Sorry about that. Run it again. Hey, and there's our window. So basically the same thing we did in the last tutorial. We added one or two lines of code, but as we go on, you'll see why that's important. Anyway, thank you for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this, and uh, also, Visit our forum at filmsbychris.com forward slash forum. And uh, visit us on IRC at Freenode. The channel is Films by Chris. If you don't have a uh, IRC client available right now, go ahead and use our web-based one at filmsbychris.com forward slash IRC. Thank you for watching and have a great day. And all those links are in the description.